This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. 6.53 is your time. Let's get you up to speed here on your Thursday morning in the Morning Sprint. Sydney Charles has details on new court filings in the Pentagon leak case. Emily Bloom is getting us ready for the Lilac Parade this weekend. And Mark is talking about some haze in our forecast. But first, we have new details in the University of Idaho murders case. The man suspected of fatally stabbing four University of Idaho students in November has been indicted by the grand jury on four counts of murder and one count of burglary. Brian Koberger is accused of killing Kaylee Gonsalves, Madison Mogan, Santa Carnotal, and Ethan Chapin in their off-campus home this fall. And he's now just days away from entering his plea. Koberger was scheduled for a preliminary hearing in late June, but this grand jury indictment now changes things. He will be arraigned on Monday now, skipping those hearings altogether. We spoke with local attorney Corey Clear Larson, who says the move is not surprising in a high-profile case like this. Find out more about what Larson told 4 News Now by going to our website, kxy.com. The heir to Bozzi Media, which runs local magazines and events, is now facing drive-by shooting and assault charges. Jordan Bozzi is accused of firing shots at a silver vehicle outside a convenience store early Sunday morning. Bozzi and that vehicle both left the parking lot, but police say he came back 15 minutes later. Bozzi told a clerk someone in the vehicle pointed a gun at him and he shot at their tires. He was arrested Tuesday. As we look at our forecast and our first alert weather, well, we had a wake-up call into Idaho, literally, with thunder, and we continue to see that die down and move out. We're going to dry out. Things are looking pretty good today. Currently, we're sitting into the mid-60s downtown. We've got 60 up at Deer Park. Our forecast for the day, sun and clouds, a little bit of haze out there, but we're going to be in the low 80s all afternoon. Our high today is 84. One North Idaho school district is losing a third of its operating budget. West Bonner County's $4.7 million levy failed Tuesday. Athletics, extracurricular activities, recruiting and retaining staff, all of that funding next year was budgeted to come from the district's levy. Last night, the school board held a meeting to discuss the next steps. The board has to submit a balanced budget by the end of June. We have new details on the former North Idaho College professor facing battery charges. Court documents reveal that this man, Zachary Shawbatter, threw a bucket full of water and cleaning chemicals at NIC trustee Todd Banducci. Police say the bucket drenched Banducci, his office desk, and a computer. When police questioned Shawbatter about the incident, they say he told them he believes Banducci is to blame for all the problems at NIC. Officer said Shawbetter found out he lost his job at NIC earlier that morning. He told officers he was being let go as a result of policies put in place by Banducci. University of Idaho is hoping to buy the University of Phoenix. U of I says acquiring the online university would improve both schools' capacity for supporting all students. According to the U of I's website, the total purchase price, $550 million. And we're learning more about the Air National Guardsmen at the center of the Pentagon Records leak. In, a new, in new court filings, federal prosecutors allege Jack Tashira ignored several orders to stop his searches into classified intelligence that was unrelated to his work. The DOJ says Tashira was reported as recently as February by a superior for looking at classified materials beyond his primary duties. Prosecutors also said at least two other warnings were issued by superiors last September and October telling Tashira to no longer take notes on classified intelligence information and to cease and desist on any deep dives into classified intel. He's due back in court tomorrow. And the 85th annual Lilac Festival happening this weekend. Uh, several events happening on Saturday before the parade. Uh, there is going to be a marketplace. There is going to be a brew fest and also a car show all starting in the morning. And then the parade kicks off at 745. A KC 135 will be flying over. All kinds of great events happening. Uh, the Brewfest is a ticketed event, so for those of you who are interested, head over to SpokaneLilacFestival.org. TikTok has been officially banned in Montana. The governor signed a bill yesterday forbidding the app from being offered in mobile app stores to any phone users in the state. All the details on that new ban coming up on Good Morning America. This July, Spokane will celebrate the 30th anniversary of Benny and June. The movie starring Johnny Depp and Mary Stuart Masterson means a lot to many people in the city, especially those who were extras in the film. 
To celebrate the anniversary, a group of those extras and fans of the movie are making a short film telling their experience from the time Hollywood came to Spokane. A lot of the extras still live here, and 30 years later, they are celebrating a film that gives Spokaneites a chance to see their city on the silver screen. We have more information on our website.